this is an example from uh, the old. You see on the, on the right side, you see a horse uh, cutting um, a cow from a herd, so separating the cow from the herd. Now, if you look uh, closely at that picture, you see the reins are loose. So the, the only thing that the rider has to do is stay on. That's very important at that point. You see his, his legs are widespread. If he doesn't do, he will fall off. The cow jumps back and forth so quickly, there is no way that at that speed you can still direct the horse with your uh, legs and, and, and reins to make the appropriate moves to separate the cow from the herd. So you have to release the activity to the horse. So the horse in that sense is at that moment in the need. Still, there is meaningful human control. You see the eyes of the human is on the cow. And whenever the human thinks, okay, we're done with this, he can give a signal to the horse, we're done, and we step out of it, and we do something else. They have to learn this from each other. There's no way that you can do this uh, uh, in one go. And that's another aspect that I'd like to emphasize. The horse has to learn what he has to do, and the human has to learn also how to communicate with the horse and how to stay on. Uh, so that's a mutual learning process. In a sense, that's a co-evolution. And we're looking for a co-evolution between human and artificial intelligence to reach us to something where we can do things that we are currently not even dreaming of, but which hopefully help us save the world. So, okay, now that was highly dramatic. Let's, let's go to something more day-to-day. -day.